Good morning. We're moving on for the day uh, to round two. We have one here that I've been wanting to try for some time. The Bishop's Crown. I had I nibbled on some, but I've never just popped a whole pod in my mouth of the ripe ones yet. I had a whole bunch of pods. The plant almost died this spring when I was trying to harden them off back in like May or June. Uh, I got another plant fall on it and broke branches off. Most of the leaves ended up falling off. The plant was really beat up. And then it took off in June and July and into August and it was like a four foot tall plant by the time it was done growing and loaded up with close to a hundred pods probably or maybe even more than that. Uh, but I brought them inside when we started getting frost in the end of September or mid September, and all the I didn't water it, the plant enough, and there wasn't enough air circulation. I had so many plants, and I got overwhelmed and uh, quite frustrated and disenfranchised by the time uh, I was ready to harvest some of my pods. So these ones ended up getting a little bit neglected, and they withered on the plant and were getting all wrinkled when they were still green. And it didn't matter that I watered them; they, it was already too late. So I harvested those prematurely, but before that started happening I did get this one so it's been in my fridge for about two months and it's still glossy firm and yeah nice and crisp there is like right on the bottom here a little bit of drying out in the tip here and I think yeah one of the wings one of the little winglets here but other than that I mean this is still a prime fresh pepper which is surprising it was in with a bunch of mushy slimy ones that, that I ended up throwing away the other day but so here it is Bishop's Crown. Mmm. No. 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 Got a lot of seeds in it. Mmm. A lot of chewing. Mmm. A really nice flavor. More. <clears throat> Not much heat to it, but that was a sharp little kick in the throat there. It's hitting the underside of my tongue more. A little more on the upper side as well. It's kind of prickly. Low, really low level heat. Um, kind of flush in my cheeks a little bit. You can feel the heat radiating out. But it's Pretty minimal. Um, starting to build a little bit in the throat. Tongue is starting to glow a little bit more. It's kind of slowly rising. It's at a pleasant level. It's not sharp hitting like that bird pepper was. Very nice. Uh, had that appleish flavor that I ascribed to like ripe annuums, Anaheim, Jalapeno, Serrano, Poblano, etc. Really nice, fresh, kind of fruity-ish. It had a little bit of a different, like, cherry notes maybe to it. Um, not quite the same as Annuum, but it's also, it's not quite as um, distinct as, like, when you bite into a lemon drop or an ahi cito or um, ahi crystal, they have more of that kind of flavor. Ahi crystal, I noticed, uh, when it's fully ripe, uh, I didn't try one of them on camera, but last year I did. They had definitely taste more like an annuum when they're fully ripe. But I had the unripe ones this year, and they did have more of the bacatum flavor, like a lemon drop, that really florally, effervescent, uh, fruity flavor. Definitely distinct from an annuum flavor-wise. But the ripe Bishop's Crown, a lot more similar texture-wise to, to a thinner-skinned um, annuum variety, like a Serrano maybe. Not exactly, no. I'd put, actually, they're probably thinner walled than the Serrano. Um, really nice, fresh, apple-y, cherry-like, fruity flavor. Some effervescent hints to it. My upper lip's starting to sweat, too. But it's a pretty low-level burn. Tip of my tongue's now, now is uh, focusing the warmth a little bit more. 
all the way down in my chest a little bit. But it's pretty low, so yeah. Bishop's Crown. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, the other Bacadums that I have acquired this year um, to see what the difference is in their flavor and heat and whatnot. So, yeah, cool. Bishop's Crown. Definitely recommend that. Whenever I get around to uh, starting my seed giveaway, if I haven't already uploaded that by the time I get this video uploaded. It's the 25th of November as of filming this, but who knows when I'll actually get around to uploading this since I, as of this, have like 30-some videos to upload. So, yeah. Anyway. Take it easy, everybody. And I will see you at a later time.